Tomorrow, the Federal Reserve will admit that the United States of America is in a recession. Now, they're not going to come out and verbally admit that. They're going to do it by their actions. Tomorrow, I believe, the Federal Reserve will cut rates 25 basis points minimal. It's Tuesday, July 30th, 2019. So tomorrow, we will witness the Federal Reserve admit that the United States of America is in a recession. Tomorrow, the Federal Reserve will lower rates at least 25 basis points. And this is a full admission that we're in a recession. The Fed and Jerome Powell are going to try to get ahead of this recession by lowering rates. Ask yourself this, if we were not in a recession, if this economy was so good, why is Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve not raising rates, instead lowering rates? The answer to that is we're in a recession. They're very worried that we're gonna go into a very deep, harsh recession and they're going to try to get ahead of this. It will not work. Expect rates to go to zero and then expect rates to go negative. This is just the beginning of this recession. They're telling you, they're telling you right now that they're worried. They're telling you that America is in a recession right now. And so many people watching this video out there right now don't believe it. The writing is not just on the wall. Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve tomorrow are gonna to tell you that America is in a recession. They're not gonna come out and verbally tell you they're gonna tell you by their actions. Rates will be lowered tomorrow. A couple articles I wanna go over with everyone today that were on Zero Hedge. It's already an earnings recession and the second half is looking even worse. Zero Hedge today, S&P 500 second quarter EPS earnings per share. Year over year growth is now forecasted at negative 2.6%. Eight of 11 sectors are expected to come with negative year over year growth. Morgan Stanley, check this out. Morgan Stanley thinks the S&P 500 is about to crash. Do you think that Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve don't know what is right around the corner, what has already begun here in America? While the average days and confused American comatose living in their little bubbles believe everything's gonna be okay while they're going out and buying a new car or a new house, they have no idea that 20 foot great white shark is cruising the beach line. These people are jumping right in the water. They have no idea what is lurking out in the water. Morgan Stanley's Mike Wilson warns that if uh, equity uh, markets fall one more time at our key resistance point, we believe the reversal will be sharper and deeper than one might expect. And the average American is definitely going to be taken by surprise. You won't be taken by surprise. You folks know what's going on. If you're watching this video, most of you know what is going on. Uh, you're not gonna be taken by surprise. This will be no surprise. In fact, it's long overdue. This should have happened years ago. This collapse is coming. The longer they kick the can down the road, it just gets, it's going to be worse. It was never dealt with in 08, and now we're going to be dealing with it in the near future, and it is going to be worse than ever. Uh, the longer we put it off, the worse the pain is going to be. Uh, we continue to see major problems uh, in the auto industry. Uh, this again on Zero Hedge, general manager of Paragon Honda in New York. We just can't take any more cars. We are full. M these auto dealers across America uh, I, and I've witnessed this myself, uh, they can't put one more car on the lots. So they're renting warehouses, they're, they're renting vacant lots. Anywhere they can put automobiles, they're putting them. Uh, they don't know where, I, I, these things are sitting down at the harbor in Long Beach. Uh, they don't know where to put these cars. And just imagine what next year is gonna look like in 2020. This is just the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. No time right now to be gambling. This is the time to really uh, be conservative, to get your debts paid off, uh, save up some cash, making sure that you own some tangible assets, owning some gold and silver. This is no time to be sitting at the poker table. These are some of the most dangerous economic times that we have ever seen in America. Unfortunately, the news continues to get worse in this beginning recession, also on Zero Hedge. And do your own due diligence, do your own research, do your own homework. You can go to Zero Hedge, you can Google any of this information. Coal consumption has crashed to the lowest level 
in four decades. More bad news for the U.S. economy. Coal producers are going bankrupt. Many workers are drawing from their savings right now. Um, they're having to run up credit cards just to make ends meet. And they're talking about now that we may have to bail out the coal miners just like we're bailing out the farmers. And so uh, this puts us farther into debt. This is telling us that the economy is not doing all that great. And it's also uh, reinforcing why I believe we will see a rate cut tomorrow and that the economy is going to continue to stagnate as we fall deeper into this recession. A little bit of good news today, pending home sales did break a 17 month losing streak. Uh, we have NAR chief e economist, National Association of Realtors chief economist, Lawrence Yun. Now this is what he said. He said that job growth and stock market highs are responsible uh, for this increase in pending home sales. Now, I don't quite believe that. What I believe it is the very low uh, interest rates and another thing that I believe is helping uh, these housing numbers right now, and it's another article on Zero Hedge. Google this. Uh, it's, it's all over the internet. Subprime 2.0. Mortgages now available for borrow, borrowers without credit scores. Do you think that possibly that could be propping up uh, sales a little bit? Do you think that that could be propping up these housing numbers? Maybe they're a little bit better than they should be because, again, things aren't always as they seem as they can be manipulated. And they're being manipulated by subprime loans, very, very low interest rates. I don't believe it has anything to do with the stock market because the stock market is so detached from reality and most people aren't even in the stock market. What this all has to do with is very low rates and now subprime uh, loans playing a, a bigger and bigger picture in the real estate market. Waterstone Mortgage Corporation, a national lender based in Wisconsin with licenses in 48 states, announced on Tuesday that it is now lending to people with absolutely no credit. Companies are once again taking bets on the same type of loans that nearly blew the economy up 10 years ago. We're seeing subprime in the housing market again, and we're seeing subprime in the auto industry. I mean, just think where we would be right now in this economy if people didn't have credit cards to go out and spend at, in the retail sector, if we didn't have subprime auto loans, and we didn't have subprime housing loans, where would we be right now as an economy? Where would we be? Think about that, comment down below. Think for a minute, Jerome Powell, the Federal Reserve, do you think they know what's actually going on? Do you think they know what about this article right here? Case Schiller, home price appreciation slows for 14th straight month. Do you think Jerome Powell, and the Fed know stuff like this? Of course they do. And they know a lot more that they're not telling us. Imagine what the Fed and Jerome Powell know that they're not telling you and I, how much worse things really are. Yet, tomorrow, they're gonna continue to manipulate these markets. They're gonna continue to prop up the stock market. They're gonna continue to tell you that things are good while they lower rates telling you it's not that good. Highest mortgage balances are in California. 17 of 25 of the highest mortgage balances are right here in California. Beverly Hills estimate income 157. Mortgage balance average in Beverly Hills 1.5 million. When we hit an economic downturn. People will get hit by the credit crunch. People like this will be overwhelmed. Giant mortgage balances are going to kill the American citizen. And this is why I stress to everybody to get your debts paid down. Don't live above your head, out of your means, above your means. It's a time to be very, very conservative. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out here tonight making this video it's about 97 degrees out, but tomorrow's another big day, and we're going to be told that everything's okay. Don't worry. We got it all under control. We're getting ahead of this. Nothing to see here. Nothing to fear. Don't worry about it. This is when you better start worrying, okay? Rates are being lowered for a reason. The facts I've given you tonight are clearly telling America that we are not 
in good financial shape. And we don't know if this thing could collapse in a week, a month, a year, five years from now. It isn't a question of if anymore, it is a question of when. So I'm gonna wrap this video up before I go. I was watching a little bit of the debates before I got here, and if that doesn't warn you enough, if that doesn't tell you that you need to be preparing, I don't know what else does. You need to be preparing mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially. Watching what I just watched for basically 15 minutes literally scared me, and it should scare you. It is very, very concerning, the possibilities of somebody like this leading this country. And that just reinforces why every one of us needs to be preparing, needs to be awake, needs to be praying. I believe this is the most important time in our history to be owning hard assets. This is why I own them. You better have food storage, water, security, trauma kit, medicine, whatever you need, you know, clothing, um, a good network of friends, a plan, uh, a, a place that maybe you can get to if you have to. Uh, this isn't to scare anybody, but this is just to be prepared because we really, I think, are going to see some very horrible times in this country. And as peaceful as all this is, and, and it's so quiet tonight, it, it it's sometimes it's hard for people to believe that something bad could happen, especially in an area like this. It's very beautiful and affluent, that uh, the lights can never go out, that people can never go hungry, that a currency can never collapse. But yet you look at history, you look at Argentina, and it's a, an example of what can happen. And it can happen very quickly. And we've eroded so much over the past 10, 20 years. We're heading in that direction. Um, so we will wait and see what happens tomorrow. I'll hopefully shoot a quick video tomorrow. Um, again, people have commented uh, down below about a good place to buy uh, precious metals, SD bullion. I have a link down below. I think there is no better time to buy precious metals than right now. While your paper currency, that monopoly money actually buys something. So do what the Chinese are doing buy assets. Uh, again, SD Bullion link down below. And again, I don't work for anybody. I don't sell anything. I buy. And I do buy from SD Bullion. I don't care if you buy from a garage sale, a pawn shop, uh, a, a, a coin dealer, another uh, a coin company online. What I do care about is that you have hard tangible assets like gold and silver. So wherever you decide to get them, get them from a reputable dealer but just get them. And I'm not telling you to spend 100% of all your money on uh, gold and silver, but you should have a portion of your portfolio, a portion of your savings in hard assets like gold and silver. And right now this stuff is on sale. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. If they get knocked down tomorrow, buy on the dip. I mean, but uh, fundamentally we should see metals go up tomorrow. We shall see. This is not a fundamental uh, market for sure, but um, no matter what the case, they're very cheap and they're more important than ever. I'm gonna leave it right there. Have an incredible week. Uh, God bless every one of you. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for all the comments because you know I read those comments, my friends read those comments and they are just enlightened by what people write because there are so many intelligent people that uh, have great strategies, uh, have, have really good uh, predictions and ideas of what's coming and, and preparations. And, and as I've said many times, you will learn more by the people down in the comments than you will for me. I'm just a guy here in Palm Springs, California, thinking out loud, just giving you my opinion, telling you how I'm preparing. But the real smart people are you and the people down there commenting. You guys are the smart ones and there is so much knowledge. So anybody watching this video, read the comments. There are some very, very knowledgeable people out there and it makes me proud to be an American knowing that we still have so many great people who love this country and are just not gonna give up. God bless every one of you. Have a great week. Talk to you very soon.